What's going on YouTube? It's Andy the Parahead Picker coming at you guys today with another edition of Making Money Monday. This is volume 66. Uh, this is just some of the items I sold over the past three days. Uh, last video I put out was a What Sold Wednesday. This is a follow-up to that video uh, which just finished off the week. Uh, so this will be a Thursday, uh, the 16th, the 17th, uh, 18th, and 19th. So uh, basically, uh, what, three, four days there. Uh, and this will be my eBay and Poshmark sales. Just basically a catch-up. Um, starting to get kind of back in the swing of things, doing these videos a little more regularly. Um, had an incredible uh, three, four days between eBay and Poshmark. I did $832 uh, over those uh, couple days. Had 26 sales for an average sale price of $32 uh, per item. So just an incredible weekend. Uh, you know, just a really, really, like I said, just a great way to uh, end the week. I'm going to start out with my Poshmark sales. Um, since I only have five of those, uh, I have 26 sales all together, um, like I said, over those three days, uh, the 16th through the 19th there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'll take it, uh, I'm going to show you everything. We'll be all caught up, and then uh, hopefully then uh, we'll take and uh, go from there. So if you guys haven't had a chance to watch uh, the What Sold Wednesday video, um, it was some of the items I'd sold over the past couple weeks. Uh, not everything, but just some of the items I pick up and source. And then uh, I did do a big... Uh, Kind of a making money Monday, I believe it was uh, 64 and 65. I did a uh, hard goods and hats video and a um, uh, a clothing and uh, shoes type of video. So if you guys want to check those out, feel free to go back and check those videos out. Um, you know, some bolos in there, just some stuff that I pick up. I'll tell you why I picked them up and what have you. A little bit about me. I'm a part-time eBay reseller. I do work a full-time job Tuesday through Friday. On Mondays, I like to put together these little sales updates, show you some of the stuff that I source that I pick up. Uh, I'll tell you why I picked it up, what I sell it for. Um, and uh, typically we'll share a bolo or two along the way, maybe share tips or tricks, what have you. Um, if you find this video useful, helpful, what have you, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the little bell. Um, also this week, uh, the Reseller Six Pack Show uh, will be on my channel. So um, if you guys want to check that out, I will put a link to that in the description below as well. Uh, that will be Sunday night, 7 p.m. Central Time. Uh, I believe the topic for the show uh, this week um, is going to be uh, local competition, so um, kind of how we handle that and deal with just local competition, competition in general. Um, so be sure to, uh, like I said, just to bookmark my channel, and then uh, you'll get the notifications and stuff when that show's uh, ready to go live and air. So anyway, guys, we'll jump into it. Like I said, I'm going to show you the Poshmark sales first, and then we'll jump in to show you the eBay sales. So here we go. Okay, first up, uh, over on Poshmark, I sold these uh, amazing uh, Eileen Fisher kind of sporty platform sandals. i got to give a shout out to Lauren Hot Chic Thrift. Uh, she kind of gave me, I reached out to her, asked her how to describe these things, because these uh, sandals didn't have any numbers or anything like that, so they were really hard for me to take and look up to get any sort of comps. Um, they were like a suede leather um, type of, just a sporty sandal. And uh, she told me to actually just to, to describe them as that, as a sporty sandal. Uh, I had these listed uh, around a hundred and a quarter. Uh, lady and I went back and forth for a little while. I thought I actually lost this sale, um, and she finally hit me up two or three days later. Um, she kind of sent me her price. I, I had sent her my price, and I had sent it two or three times at that price. I thought I lost this sale. Uh, she did. I, I knew she must have really wanted these shoes because she hit me up again, sent me an offer, uh, seventy-five bucks again. Uh, it was about her third offer at 75. Um, I wasn't going to quibble over a few dollars. I was only into these for 10 bucks. Uh, I probably should have just took it right off the bat. I was kind of being a little greedy. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I got a really nice uh, return on investment on these uh, really nice pair of, uh, like I said, just these little sporty sandals. Um, these are Eileen Fishers. Eileen Fisher is a really, really good brand to keep an eye out for in uh, women's stuff. That's kind of what the uh, inside sole looks like there, guys. Up next, uh, just a basic uh, Tommy Bahama. Um, Tommy Bahama stuff seems to sell pretty well for me over here on Posh. Um, it's just a basic Tommy Bahama shirt. I got 20 bucks out of that. Nothing crazy, nothing exciting. Uh, this is just a take it to the bucket type of shirt. Um, it's kind of what the back looks like. So nothing crazy there. Um, like I said, I got 20 bucks out of that and buyer paid shipping. So, you know, they were into this for 26 bucks. So that's bad for a basic Tommy Bahama t shirt. Um, this here is a vintage Reebok Atlanta Falcons hat. Um, you guys get start getting your NFL stuff up uh, over the last probably week or so. I've been selling quite a bit of NFL stuff. 
Uh, that stuff's really going this time of year. You know, fantasy football starting, uh, just football in general, all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, get your uh, football items up. This stuff's really starting to move. This here was a little more of like a vintage style. So I got $32 out of this hat, which is uh, actually a pretty good price for uh, just a regular old snapback hat. Um, you can tell this is all, you know, just kind of brand new. I'll just show you some of my tags here. Uh, this old Reebok hat. Nice little sale there. I was into this hat for a dollar. You see a really nice pair of Allen Edmonds uh, Hancock Oxford type shoes. I got $65 for these. Um, I think I had these originally listed for $75. Bucks. We agreed. A uh, buyer sent me an offer of uh, $65, and uh, we agreed on that. So really nice return there. I think I was into these shoes for $5. So... Uh, super good return on investment there. Um, you know, just a basic uh, shoe. This one, I'll show you the inside of the shoe here. I guess that's the size. Oh, I thought I had a picture of the inside sole. Um, but anyway, yeah, these are I have the V cleat on them there. That's what these here are called. This is called a V cleat. But yeah, like I said, really nice pair of shoes. Um, and then last but not least, over here on Poshmark, uh, over the last three days, I sold this awesome pair of Doc Martens. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted this. Uh, I think it was yesterday. I think I had a picture of this. Uh, I picked these up at a garage sale. These are Doc Martens black patent leather boots. Um, they were used, but they were basically like brand new. I got $100 out of these boots. Uh, full asking price. That's what I was asking for them over here. Um, just a really, really nice pair of boots. You know, that, that shiny black patent leathers, the air wear, and, you know, the soles are, this is what the soles look like here. You know, just really nice lugs, cleats on them, whatever you want to type call them honestly the worst part of these boots uh was the inside uh, little tag right here so but these are a really really nice pair of boots so yeah over on posh i had five sales over the past three days um for uh 291 dollars so uh basically uh probably my best week on poshmark actually that wasn't even a whole week uh, i had another sale um, this morning, I didn't even bother including that um, into this, so I will include that in the next uh, sales update that I do. Um, but yeah, so I figured I would show those to you, and then uh, now we will take and jump into the eBay sales. All right, guys, <clears throat> this is just some of my, well, actually, these are uh, the eBay sales I had over the past three days. Like I said, I made uh, $541 over the past three days on uh, just eBay sales. Uh, I believe there's 21 items here that I'm going to take a share with you guys today. Uh, first up, uh, if you guys watched that What Sold Wednesday uh, video toward the end, I actually had a sale during that. I said it was actually a pretty decent one. This was the item that sold. Uh, this is vintage Panasonic uh, solid state uh, speaker, radio, stereo, whatever. I've actually had this in my inventory for a little while. I've started lowering the price a little bit. Uh, Pete the Craigslist Hunter actually reached out to me. He told me I should use solid state in my uh, keywords. I think I shared this on Instagram um, or somewhere like that. And uh, Pete told me, he goes, make sure you use uh, solid state in your uh, keywords. And you know what? Uh, Pete's one of those guys. He's been around forever. And uh, if you're somebody who doesn't listen to Pete, you're a fool because uh, Pete is an expert uh, in this game. So uh, definitely I did that. And um, bumped my price down just a tad. And uh, this thing sold. I think, honestly, the only thing that's kept this thing uh out for a little while is there was this little teeny little dust bunny right here on the inside which i denoted there was no way i didn't really know how to tear this apart to get that out of there but it didn't affect the functionality of this radio by any means so but it was in overall great shape and condition the sound was amazing on this uh yeah, just a really, really nice item. So I got $80 out of this radio, plus the buyer paid shipping. Uh, I was only into this for $10. I found it at a little charity thrift in my town. Um, it was actually playing in the thrift store when I went in there. I asked the ladies if it was for sale. Um, they said, yeah. I asked them how much. She said 10 bucks, And I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, I will take that. So uh, really nice uh, return on investment there for these old vintage radios. Uh, Thursday, I kind of mentioned in that Wednesday video that I took Thursday off uh, last week just to kind of get caught up on my business, work on a few things, get some items listed, uh, do some organization, and what have you. Um, I hate feeling like I'm uh, kind of behind uh, the eight ball and what have you. Um, so, like I said, uh, definitely it, it paid off, I think, uh, over the past few days because I got a lot of stuff listed. Uh, I did get some inventory control done and some uh, I got a little bit of book work done and what have you. So, it was a very, very productive day. I was up super early that morning. Uh, but one of the items uh, that I scooped or that I got listed that day was this uh, GameCube, GameCube controller. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I listed a couple of these. They both sold um, almost uh, immediately uh, from listing them. 
Um, these things, this one here went for $23.49 free ship. I just used the multi quantity listing. Um, you can see they're both already gone. Um, like I said, I listed those Thursday. I think one sold um, Thursday, and I think another one sold Friday. Um, and I have one more that's up, but it's a black one, so um, it's obviously probably not as desirable as the blue. The different colors are, uh, you know, some colors are more desirable than others. Um, I'm going to give a shout out. <coughs> if you guys aren't familiar um, with Kevin, the Tennessee Picker, uh, you guys need to go check out his YouTube channel. Kevin's a very knowledgeable uh, individual. He has a lot of great bolos, tips, tricks, what have you. Um, just really, really uh, good guy in general. Um, Kevin actually shared a really nice little bolo on these uh, GameCube controllers on his channel. Uh, he was talking about the SpongeBob ones. I will put a little picture of it down here below. You guys can check that out so you know what to be looking for. Keep your eye out for They're a little more rare. Uh, they tend to go between 50 and 75 bucks, all depending on condition and what have you. You guys can comp those out if you would like. Uh, but anyway, you guys, like I said, just check that photo below. You guys see what they look like. But uh, So that was a really good bolo for me. I actually talked to one of my gamer buddies, and he didn't even know about that. So uh, he thought that was uh, pretty pretty awesome. So I figured I would pass that along to you. And you guys, please go check out Kevin's channel. Uh, my last uh, in that What Sold Wednesday video as well, uh, I sold a... Uh, Camo leather lighter pouch on um, this fast is on to a belt. I, onto a belt. I picked up two of these at uh, my local Goodwill for 99 cents a piece. Um, and I sold both of them for uh, $18.49 um, basically in about a week, week and a half. So, um, one thing I did mention in that video, if you hadn't watched that yet, um, on these here, you want to make sure that, uh, that the spring is in the bottom of these. Um, there's a little spring in there, so you kind of push down on your lighter, the lighter will pop up and makes it a little easier to grab. Um, but, you know, like I said, this has this nice little magnetic catch. Uh, keep your eye out for old vintage camel stuff. Um, it does sell usually pretty well, pretty quick. I mean, you know, there's a lot of camel stuff out there, but, you know, some things are more desirable than others. These here are a pair of uh, CT, I believe is how you pronounce this, um, cycling shoes. I've had these for a long time. You can see the white background. I typically don't use white background for my shoes, and I have a... Uh, acrylic shoe riser I use to display on my shoes. So I've had these quite a while. I started lowering the price quite a bit. Um, I think I paid three dollars for these at a garage sale last year. So I've had these for about a year, and they're an odd size. They're size 13 and a half, um, which is kind of an oddball size. Um, but you know, really nice shoes. Uh, and they do have the little clips on them. Um, if you're not familiar with cycling shoes, they have little clips. Um, and I think I forget if there's like a there's a, uh, I believe that these here are the two bolt, and I think it's a three bolt possibly. Um, Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know a whole lot about these. This is uh, some information I actually picked up from uh, Chris, the bona fide hustler. Uh, he sells a lot of cycling stuff. His cycling is really big there in Austin, where he lives. Um, so I ran across these one day. They're in great shape and condition, and uh, I couldn't, I couldn't beat the price on them. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I got $27.99 out of these, and the buyer paid shipping. So nice little return on investment there. Another cycling item uh, is just a Lolly's Cherry Energy Drink. I've never even heard of this. I picked this up uh, just because this is a Pearl Izumi brand. Pearl Izumi is a really good cycling brand. Uh, it has the little pockets in the back there. But I liked it just because it kind of had like that Marilyn Monroe looking pinup girl type of theme to it. Um, and it's a nice color and stuff like that. So I figured this would sell well. This is a size small. Um, so I've had this in my inventory for a little while. Um, I did lower it down to the 1849. I've been moving a lot of stuff at the 1849 price point uh, with free shipping, and uh, this thing did end up finally selling. Polaroid cameras, just one of those bread and butter items. I love picking these up whenever I see them. I just know that they're instant money. Um, I got this one at a garage sale uh, for a dollar. So that's uh, right in my wheelhouse. I like to pick these up for three dollars or less. I will pay five dollars for them occasionally, depending on condition. Um, but I know that, you know, the, these here all go to retrospect. They buy them usually within two to three hours, um, sometimes less. I had uh, a couple people reach out to me. Um, in my I think it was that What Sold Wednesday video. Um, I mentioned it was either that or my uh, Last Making Money Monday video, the hard goods video. It was in one of those two videos. Um, like I said, go check those out if you haven't. Uh, I did kind of mention this. I said if you, have, if you run across these Polaroid um, 600 type cameras, um, just price them $27.99 free ship. In retrospect, in Milwaukee, we'll buy these things almost immediately. Um, it's just instant money. Um, if you can get into them cheap, you know, these are going to ship at the two pound priority rate. So, from wherever you live to Milwaukee, I live in Illinois. Uh, so, these here cost me just under $7 to ship to Milwaukee. So, I was into this for eight bucks, $20 profit. 
uh, minus fees and what have you. You know, I mean, I made 18 bucks and it's instant money. So I pick these up every time I see them. Uh, I always ask if they have film. Film is where the actual money is at on these things. Um, if you can find the film, especially if you find the multi-packs of film, uh, you know, you can get some really, really good money for uh, Polaroid film. So if you guys do run across these uh, out in the wild, especially at a garage sale, a state sale, whatever, always ask if there's film. Um, and uh, I know I did have uh, a couple, like I said, I did have a couple people reach out to me. Uh, one lady uh, actually sent me a message. She said, thank you so much. After watching your video, I had a couple cameras in my inventory forever. Uh, I changed them both to $27.99, and she, she was, they both they both sold uh, as soon as she changed the price on them within just a couple hours. So she was super happy and uh, thanked me quite a bit for that little tip. So like I said, you guys get these. No sense in trying to get $34, $35 bucks on and sitting on them forever. Just list them $27.99, and they sell instantly. Um, this here is a Joyce Meyer, just a CD set, new sealed. Um, the Joyce Meyer stuff, usually if I find anything Joyce Meyer sealed, I will usually scan it, at least check it out. Um, she has a pretty big following. So um, this one here was $16.99 plus buyer paid shipping. So I um, got a really nice return on that. And I can't remember. I, I know I was only into this for a dollar, but I can't remember if I got this at a garage sale or Goodwill. I'd have to double check my records. Uh, but I know if I got this at good or a garage sale, I would have bundled this with something, and I probably got this for free. Um, little tip, you know, I mean, if you guys are picking up dollar items and you can, you know, grab two or three different things at garage sales or what have you, you know, see if you can get, you know, even if they knock a dollar or two dollars off of something that makes, you know, an item for free. So, you know, just just kind of how I look at things. Uh, these are just some regular co uh, Canon uh, photo paper, 1849. They were light enough uh, that they did make it in first class rate. So I didn't make a killing on these, but uh, I did make, uh, you know, some okay money. Um, like I said, I usually always check these. Um, L.L. Bean. Um, I bought a really big L.L. Bean haul last summer. I still have a few shirts left from that haul. Uh, I bought so many shirts, they basically averaged out um, when I you know, kind of did the, my average sale price or purchase price or whatever for all the items. Uh, they equaled about 70 cents a piece. So um, I did purchase them from a doctor. So every one of these shirts uh, was, almost every one of these shirts was all dry clean, had dry clean tags on them. So they were in super good shape and condition. Um, but this one here went for $23.49, just a really nice shirt, you know, just basic, just L.L. Bean shirt, nothing crazy. Uh, these are just some new Glarus brewing, uh, like a Pilsner glass or whatever. Um, I only live about an hour and some change from the brewery. Uh, Glarus is just kind of one of them popular breweries. They make, they do make incredible beer and they are very well noted. Um, their brewmasters there are actually very uh, well noted in the brewing community as well. Um, this is not a fly-by-night operation by any means. In Wisconsin, uh, New Glarus is only available in Wisconsin. Um, so a lot of their stuff does float down to my area. I do pick up glasses every once in a while. I try not to get too crazy on it. If I can find these for free, get them for 50 cents or quarter, I do pick them up, and then I do start accumulating them. Uh, I do have to be careful because they make this exact same glass in the employee-owned version, and then they think it's a 20-year or 25-year uh, like anniversary version. So... Um, but usually I'll list these a couple at a time. Um, I don't only share these in my sales updates, but I did sell these this week. So I figured, you know what, I got a nice little return on them. I got $32.99 for these. Uh, you know, and I just bubble wrap the heck out of them, threw them in a uh, regional A box. Um, and these, uh, these actually shipped to Illinois. So these didn't cost me hardly anything to ship, even in the regional A box. Uh, so I was, I was only in, I think I had a dollar into the two glasses total. Um, I usually don't ever pay more than 50 cents for glassware, um, especially these. I may have even gotten these for free, 50 cents. Like I said, I probably have a couple more in the, in my cupboard, uh, here, here behind me. So I, I'm sure I have two or three more back there. So, uh, I do pick these up from time to time, but yeah, $23.99, uh, really good price for some glassware. Uh, these here are some uh, PlayStation uh, 3 and 4 uh, move controllers, move motion controllers. Um, I got a couple of these at a garage sale with a bunch of games and what have you. I think I was into these controllers maybe about a dollar. Uh, I don't even think I was into these for a dollar because, like I said, I bought a bunch of games, the controllers, um, and what have you. And they were all just kind of tossed in a bag. By the time we negotiated a price, I think these come out somewhere around 70 cents to a dollar a piece. These are really, really good to keep an eye out for. A nice little bolo for you guys. If you guys run across these, see them in the wild, uh, scoop them up. I got $23.49 for uh, this one, and I should have one more, I believe, in this uh, sales update. They both sold uh, almost as soon as I put them up, so uh, I got about 50 bucks out of the two of those. And uh, I actually just ran across another one I need to get put up, so uh, 
and I think I paid about three dollars for that one. So, uh, but either way, you know, I mean, if I end up with seventy-five bucks out of something, I've got a total of five dollars in. Uh, I'll take that all day long. Uh, nice pair of Harley Davidson boots, uh, little ankle boots, zip boots, whatever. I got these at a garage sale uh, from a really nice lady. Uh, we talked for a little while, actually. Um, if you guys watch my sales updates at any time, if you guys uh, remember seeing the, oh my gosh, I had a dry fit shirt from Las Vegas. Um, God, I went to the Global Shipping Program, and I cannot remember the rider now, but it was a really cool shirt. I ended up buying that shirt from this lady. Uh, and I sold that for around 50, 60 bucks in these shoes um, from the same lady. Uh, just really, really, really nice. Uh, nice pair of shoes. Got $40 out of these. You know, Harley, everything sells. You guys know I love selling Harley stuff. Um, but nice shape and condition. And I think I was only into these shoes for 3 or $4, which is a great price for a pair of Harley anything. Uh, yeah, here's another one of those move controllers. So I sold that uh, in the last three days as well. $23.49. Free ship. Uh, I just shipped those in those little eBay uh, 6 by 4 by I forget what they are, but it's a 6 by 4 by something box. And you just usually put a piece of bubble wrap on them. And uh, they go on those and they ship first class. So, um, you know, I'm only shipping these out for $360, something like that. So, nice little return there. Another one of those GameCube controllers. Um, you know, like I said, I'd sold both those uh, last week, so I ended up with uh, about 50 bucks out of these GameCube controllers. They did pay shipping on these as well. These typically go for about $29.99 uh, free ship. You know, they, they go right in that $30 range, however you end up getting it. Like I said, I got $23.49 out of mine, plus buyers paid shipping, so it's still, you know, right in that $30 range. Um, typically, if I buy GameCubes, uh, all I want is the controllers. Um, I sold the systems at a garage sale. I bought uh, two systems that had four controllers. Three of them were actually official GameCube controllers. So I've already sold two of them. Uh, I think I paid 16 bucks for the systems. I sold the two systems at a garage sale for $20. Uh, so I made 4 bucks just on the systems themselves. Uh, now I've already made another $50 off two controllers. I still have uh, two more controllers to go. Um, but like I said, one will be a GameCube controller. I have listed for the same price. Another one's kind of an off-brand, so I might only get about 15 bucks out of that. But anyway, so I'll probably get about close to 100 bucks uh, by the time everything's said and done off them uh, two GameCube purchases. It's a really nice Orvis flannel shirt. Um, I got 26.49 out of that. Free shipping. Um, I'm being real careful about picking up Orvis anymore because Costco now uh, sells Orvis uh, in Costco. You know, if you guys are familiar with Costco, uh, the nearest one to me is about an hour and some change away. But, uh, you know, I do know that they do sell Orvis stuff. And they sell, I believe, actually this tag here, maybe one of the different Orvis tags. Um, yeah, those there I'm kind of trying to stay away from. Now, if you have the Orvis Sporting Traditions tags, the one that has like a fishing net and a fly rod on it, um, those there are the higher-end Orvis stuff. So, you, you know, that's definitely not a, a Costco item. But, uh, yeah, I, me personally, and that's just my own opinion, I think Costco is going to kill the Orvis brand uh, just in general because they're going to have so much of it. They're going to sell it super cheap, and it's just going to kill that brand unless you're getting the older vintage Orvis stuff or the really good outdoor stuff or what have you. So, um, just my opinion, but uh, so be really careful picking up Orvis stuff anymore, guys. Just nice, uh, this uh, Tyndale uh, Bible. This is just a small Bible, and it's the bonded leather. Um, I did show that in my photo here. Um, you know, if you guys find the, you know, these old Bibles or whatever, and this isn't an old one, but this is, kind of, like I said, kind of a small pocket Bible. Um, I didn't get a whole lot out of this one. This is probably my lowest Bible sale yet, um, but I did get 10 bucks out of this. Um, I might have got this for free, um, maybe a dollar tops. I, like I said, I got to have to consult my records um, and the buyer paid shipping. So nice little Bible there. I always look for the leather ones or the genuine leather, the bonded leather, or anything like that. Those are tend to do a little bit better. Uh, here's another one of them L.L. Bean shirts from that L.L. Bean uh a haul I had uh, last year, like I said, them things are still moving. Uh, so this is for twenty three forty nine. Nice, nice return. Uh, nice return there on a uh, seventy cent purchase. Um, this is another Eddie Bauer item. Like I said, I, I probably have three. I probably had three Eddie Bauer items in my entire inventory. I sold one. Uh, I shared in that what sold Wednesday video, but it was our super rare kind of oddball type of shirt. And then I picked up two of these. Um, these are basically like the Columbia PFG shirts. Um, them super lightweight, vented back, uh, outdoor camping, hunting type shirts. 
so I picked up two of those. I have this one, and um, this is a large tall. I got it at a Goodwill uh, one, two, three, or dollar fifty day, so I only paid a buck fifty for this shirt. I just couldn't leave this set for a dollar fifty. I figured, you know what, I'm gonna list this. It is a tall, so it's a little more rare, um, and I should be able to sell it, make some decent money off of it. Nah, I did end up getting uh, twenty three forty nine out of that shirt, so nice return on investment there. Like I said, I do not typically go out of my way and buy Eddie Bauer stuff unless it is extremely rare different it really stands out something like that uh, maybe if it's down uh, that sort of stuff like in a jacket but uh, yeah I typically stay away from any Bauer stuff but it does still sell uh, another NFL item just a Green Bay Packers women's adjustable hat it's basically brand new with tags super good shape and condition I think they call this a cadet style um, hat so just really nice women's hat uh, I got 1849 out of that free ship uh, my hats go in a box uh, inside of I put everything in a clear poly bag inside a box and uh, then them all go out love selling hats uh, here's another women's Orvis shirt I'm um, really really stayed away from women's Orvis stuff I have an extremely hard time selling women's Orvis stuff this is actually a shirt my wife found uh, she was thumbing through the you know the women's section what have you she ran across it she knows Orvis is a good brand she brought it over to me uh, I've probably had this in my inventory close to a year um, yeah, this thing finally sold at 1849. Just uh, you know, and this is a, I guess it's a size 12, so it's not like a crazy size by any means, but just a regular, just you know, Orvis blouse, pink shirt, nothing crazy. And then last but not least, uh, for my sales over the past three days, uh, this here was a vintage uh, new old stock home light chainsaw uh, trucker hat. Had the patch on it, the embroidered patch, which is really really nice to look for. Um, I did put a watermark on that because there are a few of these hats listed. Um, I had five. I actually was able to pick up five of these, um, all all brand new, old stock condition. I paid a dollar a piece for them. This one here went for twenty six forty nine. So uh, hopefully, if I can sell all five of these hats at that twenty five dollar mark, we'll just say uh, by the time everything's all said and done, uh, pay fees and what have you, I should make a hundred bucks off of uh, that five dollar purchase. So. Uh, like I said, I love selling old hats. I love vintage hats especially, but and I typically always, especially on hats, I usually always uh, include a picture of the sweatband. Um, you can see there's no staining, no yellowing, no nothing like that. I mean, these are these hat, this hat's in great shape and condition. Uh, I still have four of these left, so if anyone's interested in an uh, amazing home light uh, chainsaw vintage trucker hat, hit me up, and uh, you know I'll even make you a deal. And so, anyway, guys, zoom back out of here.